So sick and tired of the PG era fucking shit up, and now you gotta understand this. Understand how bad it's getting. And, um, this is the worst fucking thing I've heard in a long time coming out of WWE. They are going to do a Saturday morning kids show. That's right, and they're doing it on the CW. The same channel that is famous for showing Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! in the same block. They're going to put WWE in the same thing, the same block of shows with Saturday morning cartoons made for fucking children. This is fucking professional wrestling. A violent ass sport. And what are they doing? They're making it more and more a kid show. And they are making us feel like fucking pedophiles watching this shit week after week. Because now they put it on so kids can see it. Little kids. Little five year olds watch Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. It, it, it's all about that block of shows on the CW's for little kids. Kids in grade school watching simple minded cartoons. That, that That's who it's for. And I, I know, you know, people have been saying um, WWE Livewire. They, that, that, that was on in the morning, but it was on the USA Network, which is not a kids network. People have been saying that. They've been saying, oh, you know, well, this is nothing new. They, they've had these morning shows before, but they've always been on USA or Spike TV. They have never, ever been on something like the CW in the morning on Saturday when kids are off from school with the same cartoon block. They're going to put this shit on like like, like it, at, at, at um, I think I read somewhere at 11 a.m. They're going to put it on that. But it doesn't matter. Wherever time they put it on, it, it's 7, 8, 9, 10, doesn't matter. It's going to, it's just going to drag WWE through the PG mud even more. And they're going to lose even more fans. Because as I said, it makes you feel like a fucking pedophile. This is, this fucking WWE is on with the kids shows. They're insulting our intelligence. They're basically saying, oh, look at you. Um, you know, you might be our, our greatest, um, you know, age range, our biggest demographic, but we're going to say, fuck you. We're going to insult you and say, hey, you know what? Um, we're going to show you that we don't care about you. We're going to make fun of you and put WWE on Saturday mornings with the fucking cartoons to make you feel like a pedo. I'm like... Looking at this on NoDQ.com, and I can't even believe what I'm looking at. I'm like, are they seriously doing this to us? The loyal WWE fans, are they really showing us, sending us a message that they're just going to cater this to the kids? I mean, it was already a bad omen when they had, you know, the WWE Kids magazine coming out. But, you know, that happened back in like 08, and like I said, it wasn't even that PG yet. Now it's gotten totally fucking ridiculous. Because now they're putting sun on Saturday morning with the cartoons. That's like, holy shit. What the fuck are they thinking? And it all makes sense now because of all the apologies that they've been showing on TV. Seamus steals the car, but, you know, he has to immediately apologize for his actions. Because remember, kids, you can steal a car. Um, you know, you can do that, but first you gotta apologize. Be a star. I'm so sick of this. It's all because of the Mattel toy deal, Linda McMahon senatorial campaign. They want to clean up their image because the, they got this bullying campaign. It's all for Linda McMahon fucking the toy companies. And they're putting it on Saturday morning. And that's exactly why CW wants WWE back. And, you know, and this time they don't want SmackDown. They want their Saturday morning show. 
CW wants and WWE wants and Vince McMahon, oh, we're going to reach new markets this way. I was like, why the fuck would you want to bring more kids into it when it's an adult product? Hello? Is anybody home, Vince McMahon? Do you fucking understand? Like, who your key demographics are? I mean, the reports are right there in front of you. This shit is everywhere. It has been... You know, it has been put out there for all the pathetic PG fanboys to see. People like to insist, you know, oh no, it's a kid show, it's a kid show. It's not supposed to be. The key demographic is actually for people 18 to 30. And even sometimes they say people uh, even 40 years old watch the, uh, this show. Uh, actually, the least prevalent demographic is the kids. But they want to draw in a new market. But it, they've been trying this since 2008. They've been using that same excuse since 2008. When they started toning it down. But now it's gotten ridiculous. They keep toning it down. You know, in, in hopes of getting a new market that's never going to come. It's just like, holy shit. They're putting this fucking stuff on with the cartoons, people. I mean, I swear to God, if any PG fanboy comes on this video and, and and comments saying this is a good thing, you're a fucking pedophile to say that this is a good thing. Because it's insulting our very intelligence as wrestling fans. I mean, we already catch a lot of flack. People, you know, saying that, it, it, you know, it's fake and it's trailer park trash and all that shit that you constantly hear. This is the last thing that wrestling fans needed was to have it on a fucking cartoon block on Saturday mornings. Holy shit. <laughs>